guys, it's me, Kanika, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Tunisian stitch. So the Tunisian stitch is a knitting stitch, which is super simple. So all you're going to be needing for the Tunisian stitch is scissors, a crochet hook. Um, you need one without a handle because the handle prevents you... Um, one sec, guys. So the handle prevents you from going any farther than the metal part, so... If you want to make a super long Tunisian stitch, you're going to need um, a crochet hook like this. So you're also going to be needing a yarning needle to um, weave in the ends, and then you're going to be needing yarn, obviously. So I'm using the Never Enough yarn. It is um, 601 yards. You don't really need this much. You can use however much you want or however little you want. I would not recommend making a blanket out of this because that would require an excessive amount of, um, excessively long crochet, so. Maybe just for, like, making, like, bracelets or maybe, like, a phone cover, something like that, something short. So make a slip knot, and how you make a slip knot is you hold your yarn like this, twist, insert to, through this tiny little cross section, and then you pull, and then you have a little loop, and then you can insert it through, and pull to tighten. So you can chain however much you want. A chain is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So chain as much as you want. I'm gonna do this much, just to show you guys. So basically how you do the Tunisian stitch is you yarn over, insert through the first loop, yarn over, pull through, Sorry guys, I messed up, hold on. Give me one sec. So you insert through the loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert through the second chain loop, yarn over, pull through. Third chain loop, insert, yarn over, pull through. And continue that to the end of the chain. I'll just and as you can see, um, a lot of loops are building up on your little crochet hook. So when you go to the end, your crochet hook should have loops. So when you get to the end, you yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then you keep pulling through two until the very end. As you, when you get to the very end, it should kind of look like a weird caterpillar. And then to go to the next stitch is you, so there should be a little cross section right here with like a line. You insert into, on top of the line and into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, uh, go to the next line, yarn over, pull through, next line, yarn over, pull through. 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 And last line, yarn over, pull through. So I have all the uh, little things on my hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Two, sorry. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 So that should give you a two-row Tunisian stitch. If you want, you can continue by working into the top loops, but this is all I did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and also, if you want to finish, you just cut off the ends, and then pull it through the loop. And yeah, and you can choose to work in the end or you can turn it into like a bracelet, whatever you guys want. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the unsubscribe and comment down below. Did you try the Sanation Stitch? Did you like it? Bye!